flanked by the chairman of the Western Regional NDC, Nanatoku, and other executives during a press conference at Wasa Ikupong, the regional secretary, Joe Nelson, while narrating how the incident happened, called on the police to immediately investigate the attack and arrest one of the two attackers who is still on the run. The NDC is horrified by this incident because this is alien to the Western region. And so we strongly urge the police to expedite action on it and get all those involved arrested to face the full effect of the law. The Western Regional Secretary of the NDC, who described the incident as politically motivated, however condemned the attempts by some people claiming the arrested suspect by the police is deranged. He added that a party will win the elections in the region with or without attacks. We are of the view that this was politically motivated and our reasons are not far-fetched. The number one reason is that our parliamentary candidate, Honorable Nicolas Amanka, is winning the seat from the MPP. The second is that since the incident, we have observed the frantic and shameless effort of some leading members of the MPP in this constituency to discount the seriousness of this matter, all in an attempt to aid the accused escape justice. The Yementhi East NDC parliamentary candidate, Nicolas Amankwa, whose house was attacked, said he is only alive by the grace of God, but is demanding for police protection. Going forward, we are going to take responsibility of our And we are going to take this opportunity to tell our president, Naradankwa and Kufwadi, they promised to provide Ghanaians with 24-7 security. What is happening in the country is unacceptable. What is happening in the country is making even Amenfi is unsafe to live here. When City News contacted the Asankragwa Police Command of Camera, Inspector William Titi Agbanyo, who is the station officer, confirmed the arrest of one suspect. He says investigations are still underway.